I used to help out at a nursing home. This old Russian lady would relate the same tale over and over. Her husband drank and hit her. It was sad for sure. But one day she leaned over and whispered, he was asshole drunk, so I pushed him downstairs. Dead. I had a friend confess that every time he stayed at my apartment, which was frequently, because we lived in different countries, he watched me sleep. I woke with him staring at me, he was literally inches away from my face just staring and I freaked out, he broke down and confessed. My husband was asleep next to me. A colleague confessed that she had sex with her brother throughout her childhood and early adolescence. She also told me she despises her brother's wife because she is in love with her brother and is insanely jealous of his life and kids. She has never had a relationship and fears she will never be married or have kids of her own. I killed my best friend by accident while high on cocaine, one year ago. I accidentally pushed her from a bridge while high. A bad experience for sure. I never told anyone. When I was 19 to 20 years old, I was looking for jobs and could not find any and people would tell me to build a nice CV. The problem was, I did not know how to do it so I posted fake jobs on the internet and would get CVs. I used those CVs to build my own, using the skills that I liked on their CVs. I could also tell who was competing with me for those jobs that I posted. I feel bad for those people that thought it was genuine and applied. I am 33 now and have a nice job. Those CVs truly did help me build my career. I had been in this relationship for three months and he invited me to meet his family. His aunt said we girls should go out next night, bar hopping. I got drunk, I lost them in the crowd, ended up looking for them in a bar. This guy starts a conversation with me, two hours later we kiss and I give him oral sex in the bathroom. I went back home and got the worst hangover in the morning. I felt ashamed but was determined not to tell anyone. I go downstairs and my boyfriend introduces me to his half-brother. It was the guy from the bar. Five years later I am married to my then-boyfriend. We still haven't told him. I dread family reunions. <laughs>